We know how to set up a table. For example, uh, we've set up a table here in a database of class events. Uh, table, this table, uh, this shows the design of a table to hold data for class events. And if you want to enter data into the table, you could go to the data sheet view and type in data uh, directly into the table. However, when we interface with databases, or when um, the user, the typical user of a database who's not a database designer uh, deals with a database, they normally see it through or normally access data or enter data via a form. I've shown you, this is an example of a couple of online forms. If you want to set up a, a Hotmail account, you, you'll enter your details into a form, which in turn input that the, the, uh, data into a table that exists on a web server. Uh, in the college, in the Limerick College of Further Education, you can fill up a form here to submit an inquiry that uh, submits all that data to, uh, into a database. Okay, so back to our own database here. We're going to enter uh, data into this database and alter data, not using the table structure, but using a form so we see one record at a time, which is the, the way a regular user for databases which wishes to see data. Okay, to do that, we click on the Create tab and the Form button. So you can see there, um, the, the, the screen tip tells us there that you can create a form that lets you enter information one record at a time. So when you click on that button, form is automatically generated for this um, database. Now it's important for us to look at the view that we're in. There's three views, you're automatically put into the layout view, there's a design view and the form view as well. The layout view is where you can change the look and feel of the form. So we'll, we'll uh, work on that first. So title on this form, which will be class events data, contains all the data for class events. If you wish, you can, um, you can change the color scheme on this side here using the automatically formatted color schemes. You can apply a different color scheme if you wish and look and feel. Uh, you can move about the fields, but I, I like the layout here, so I'll stick with that. Okay, once you're happy with the layout, the next view uh, which you can access is the form view. So you can click in there, and this is where you can enter your data into the form. So you can see the existing data that lies in the table underneath this form is already uh, there. And if you wish to um, uh, scan through it, you can go back and forwards. This jumps you back to the very first record. You can go to the uh, last record, or you can uh, scroll through the records one by one. Um, if you wish to input a new record, you can just click on this button here. And you can enter a new record. So, two, nine is the ID number. Not for the details for a new person in the class. Once you um, move away from this record, it's been committed to the database. You can see when I go back to the record there that's been committed into our database. Another uh, feature you can use is you can search for data in the database. So for example, if you want to search for all people who are available all evenings, if you just type in all, it'll identify the people available all evenings. And if you hit enter, it'll uh, scroll to the next person who's available for all evenings, and enter again it will follow on to the next person available all evenings. If you want to identify uh, somebody whose second name is O'Shea, there we go, and you can hit enter to advance to the next record of the person with O'Shea. If you hit enter and it doesn't advance forward, that means that's the last person with that particular record. You can also adjust details of, um, of somebody's record, so for example, if if you're looking for John Murphy and you want to, or Mary, um, Mary Murphy, and you want to adjust her payments details to 25 euros, you can do that. 
The last thing we want to do with our form is we just want to save it. So we we'll just right click, click save, and we're going to give it the prefix FRM and class. Once you've saved it as FRM class, the tab here identifies it with its new name, and the object appears here on our left hand pane along with the table object. So now you realize that we're, you can save the database as a whole database, but you also have to save each object individually in the database, the table, the form, and whatever other objects that you may have in the database. Okay, let's recap. Design of a table. Once your table is uh, ready and completely designed, you can go into the form view or the data sheet view of that table and you can enter data directly into the table. However, we identified that the regular way of entering data into a database was via a form. That's the way people, uh, it's uh, because people want to see data one, uh, one item at a time rather than seeing uh, one, hundreds of records on your screen at once. It doesn't look as well. So to design a form, you click on the create tab and the form button and the form is created. You can then work on the look and feel of the form by returning to the home tab and changing your view to the layout view. At that point you're, you're given the layout tools and you can arrange the where the fields of your database appear. You can change the format, the look and feel, the color scheme of your, of your form. And you can also change the titles of your fields or the title of the entire form itself by just double clicking into the form. Once you return to the form view, you're now able to input and access the data that's available. You can scroll through the records one by one. You can scroll through the records uh, by jumping to the first or the last record. You can enter new records or you can search for record data. For example, somebody with no medical condition there.